I, uh, I find myself undone, just uh, as George is praying there. You know, we're undone because of the desolation of an untransformed life and community or neighborhood or family. But we're undone too because of this longing, this guttural longing that we have for a move of God in our day. And we know something about God. And we can say we know something about you. And you will not pass us by. And, you know, even as I come to share the word now, I can, I can feel what is my own personal desperation for God, for the living God. We want to show, as George has suggested, that God's word is the non-negotiable basis for our understanding of who he is and what he does and why he does it and how he does it. So by opening the Bible, we're declaring that God has spoken about these things. We're saying that this is not just about listening to speakers, but about listening to the voice of God, no less. And you are going to be privileged uh, to hear from some choice vessels on this curriculum, men and women who have deep experience of God's transforming works and ways, who will be teaching deeply and thoroughly about the transforming and reviving move of God, about that journey and holy process uh, that George Otis has so helpfully discerned in those three significant movements, the invitation of God into our communities and the necessary preparation, the invitation of God, but the supernatural visitation of God and the transformation of community and national life that ensues. What we want to do together is search the Word, meditate on the ways and works of God in transforming revival. The Word of God is crammed. Do you love this word? Do you love it? Ah, I love to do Ah, it is crammed with examples and evidences of God's transforming and reviving purposes and processes. His affections and His actions, His warnings and instructions, His compassions and His commands, His conditions and His outcomes. Transformation is not a method that is supported by some proof scriptures. It is nothing less than the continuation on the earth of the biblical narrative of the invasive, redemptive purposes of God as attested in all of scripture. 